The story of the disappearance of dinosaurs is a famous one. Less familiar is the tale of the dinosaurs that were left behind. What is it about birds that allowed them to survive when all other dinosaurs died out? Watch our video on how these small and innocent creatures were able to survive while the largest predators that roamed our planet are extinct. Birds evolved from a group of meat-eating dinosaurs called theropods. That's the same group that Tyrannosaurus rex belonged to. Although birds evolved from small theropods, not huge ones like the T-Rex. The oldest bird fossils are about 150 million years old. These ancient birds looked quite a lot like small, feathered dinosaurs, and they had much in common. Their mouths still contained shark teeth. But over time, birds lost their teeth and evolved beaks. Can you imagine coming face to face with a toothy pigeon? It is an unlikely relationship. But the humble pigeon is a descendant of the group of dinosaurs that also includes the mighty T. rex. The two species share a remarkable biological past. Museum paleontologist Prof. Paul Barrett explains how our new understanding of dinosaur evolution is transforming the way scientists think. Birds that fill the world's skies today are living dinosaurs, reminders of a distant and strange past. Decades of major new discoveries and studies have convinced researchers that there is a direct link between modern bird species and theropod dinosaurs. Once dinosaurs were thought of as scale-up lizards, but now they are regarded very differently. After more than 140 million years in charge, the reign of the dinosaurs came to an abrupt end when a huge asteroid strike and massive volcanic eruptions caused disastrous changes to the environment. Most dinosaurs went extinct, only birds remained. Over the next 66 million years, birds evolved in many ways, which enabled them to survive in lots of different habitats. Today, there are at least 11,000 bird species. But with such a close relationship to the extinct dinosaurs, why did birds survive? The answer probably lies in a combination of things, their small size, the fact they can eat a lot of different foods, and their ability to fly. We are in a period that paleontologists call the dinosaur renaissance. It began in the 1960s with the revolutionary discovery of Dynamensis, a small predatory dinosaur that lived about 115 million years ago. It not only showed unique similarities to birds, but also appeared to be an intelligent, fast-moving pack hunter, rather than a slow, plodding reptile. The discovery that Denonychus had feathers helped to transform the way paleontologists think about dinosaurs. New work on old specimens and the discoveries of dinosaur and early bird species in the field supported the idea that dinosaurs were the direct ancestors of birds. Many features and behaviors that characterize living birds were also found in their dinosaur ancestors. Denonychus was a theropod, one of a group of bipedal, carnivorous dinosaurs that also included Tyrannosaurus rex. Our knowledge of these creatures is constantly changing as new fossils are unearthed. Scientists now know that dinosaurs evolved bird-like characteristics long before the appearance of Archaeopteryx, the late Jurassic fossil usually thought to be the earliest bird. During the course of their evolutionary history, the body size of some theropod groups gradually decreased, a trend that together with many other changes to the skeleton, ultimately led to the appearance of birds. Paul says, in 1996, the first feathered dinosaur was announced and many others have come to light since. This work has shown that Deinonychus, originally depicted as a scaly dinosaur, was actually feathered. The first discoveries of dinosaurs were made in the early 19th century. Initially, dinosaurs were thought to look like large lizards and were pictured as enormous animals, hundreds of feet long. New discoveries mean we constantly have to update views on dinosaur appearance, behavior, and lifestyle. Do you want to binge more of these videos? Don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video.